it's me, Tiffy, back with another video. If you're new, welcome. Um, so today I have a new unboxing I just got. It is the Sips by box. Um, it is a customized to you tea subscription that they do every month or if you don't, um, want to get it a month, you can skip a month or whatever. Uh, this is my first month. Um, like, you'll go on there and order it and then you'll, um, go and take a quiz or whatever, um, for your customization stuff going on. Um, I have no idea how well it works because I, like I said, it's my first box. Um, first, uh, before I get to opening it though, I do want to say something about this box. Their customer service is freaking awesome. Like when I went and signed up, um, like I had found a code online um, to get like half off my first box. And for whatever reason, when I filled out the all the junk you gotta put in, your address, your credit card information, and all that jazz, and it asked if you have any coupon codes, I put my coupon code in and it said it took it off, but then, like, when I got, I got charged, I got charged full price, and, like, I messaged them, and I'm like, you know, I don't know, like, something might have been off my computer, something might have went weird with the code, like, I don't know what's going on, but it didn't take the code it was supposed to take, and I was just like, oh, well, what code was, and I told them the code, and, um, they were like, okay, we'll refund the money that was on that code or whatever so that was really nice that they were so quick getting back with me and stuff so that's always a plus when somebody has good customer service um but yeah enough about that let's open the box and see what's inside and let's see in there it sips by they have really cute boxes Made for Tiffany. Hiding the spoilers. Uh, summer is here, Tiffany. Whether you are taking iced tea to a picnic with friends or warming up with a, with a cup of tea on a cool summer's night, we love to see how your Sip Spy box fits your personal seasonal routine. Please take a pic of your box and post it on Instagram to... Enter to win a free month using the hashtag, hashtag SipsbyBox and tag at SipsBy in your caption XOXO the SipsBy team. And then it says June Tees. And then SipsBy.com. So that's a little bit of personalization that's pretty cool. Alright, so. I did, um, on my thing, because they do, um, little bag teas and, um, uh, loose teas. So, like, teas you would put into, like, a tea diffuser, I think is what it's called. Um, but I did put that they could send me either, because, like, I'm not a big tea drinker. Like, I drink tea sometimes, but I just don't know, like, I'm not super, like, what she would call a tea drinker like I like a tea aficionado like I know everything about teas because I don't um but it's a, like I like trying new things and like tea is yummy sometimes so I figured you know why not I'll try it and let you guys know what I think so our first tea we got is bag tea and looks like it's gonna be like maybe four each of these um it is organic white pomegranate from the company Davison's Organics and it says chocolatey white tea with herbs and real dried pomegranate oh that sounds really good so there's that and I got four packets of it so to a good start sips by and the next one is bagged also um is Ahmad Tea London. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Um, and it's a black tea and it's just English afternoon tea. And let's see what that says. Selected 
Indian Ceylon and Kenyan teas lightly flavored with bergamot. A delightful cup of tea with balanced strength, colorful and flavorful. And then there's four packets of that. I don't know how, um, if I'm going to like that one, like, I don't know there's a difference between, like, English tea and, like, what normal tea is, but I think that's just, like, a normal tea. I don't know. I like, in the, like, flavored stuff. Um, but, like, regular tea, if, if it is just, like, regular tea, I mean, that works just... I'll put a little sugar in it and drink it like that, I guess. Um, let's see. This is a loop tea. It's kind of pretty. It looks like potpourri. See that there? Uh, it says T. Fiori. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that at all. Um, and it says a beautiful simple blend of white tea and rose to soothe you inspired by rosso i i there's a bunch of words that i think may, might be italian i'm not going to try to pronounce these because i don't know how to do that um the world's largest private rose garden located in the tuscan countryside um that's that tea um and no, I don't have a tea diffuser, but the nice thing about Sip Spy is like, if you do get loose tea, they'll send you this right here. Um, this is a reusable um, cloth tea bag. So this little bag, like, it's branded with their name and like you can put the tea in there. It has instructions on like how much you're supposed to use and like how long and everything. And you can do that, but then they also have a few um, disposable tea bags that, like, you just do it like regular tea, but like you can actually load the tea into the bags if you'd like. So that's kind of neat. I've never seen anything like that before. Put those back in there for now. And then our final tea is going to be another leaf tea, but it is um, in a different type of bag, as you can see here. And it is organic sleeping tranquil tea, a calming blend of ribos and chamomile. I hope I pronounced that right. Ingredients, organic ruibus, organic valerine root, organic chamomile, organic peppermint, and organic lavender. And this is made in the USA. So there's that. Um, I plan on trying these teas for you because there's like four of them. I think I might try to do, I'm not going to try the English one because that's going to be like a regular tea, I think, like just regular black tea, um, maybe like darker than normal, but the, um, white pomegranate I will try, and the, rose one I will try. Um, I'm not going to try the sleeping tea because I don't want it to make me sleepy. I don't want to go to bed yet. But the other two, through the magic of YouTube, I shall try. Let's see. Um, ow, that's really hot. I went and put some water through my coffee maker to boil it. Um, so it's very hot. And then I have my little pour cup right here. Just gotta see how long I gotta do this for. Okay, this smells like really good. 
almost smells like raspberry. Um, but this says to put it in the water for like three to five minutes. So here. Don't try this at home, kids. And you see the little tea bag in there. And I'm going to do a little time lapse. We'll be back here in three to five minutes, everybody. Bag, yeah, this is the pomegranate um, chocolate tea. Um, I did put a little ice cube in it just because this tea was like boiling hot. And I do not want to burn my mouth. Uh, full disclosure, this tea does not have sugar in it. I usually put sugar in my tea, but because I don't know how much to put in it, because I don't know the being flavored how sweet it's going to be or whatever, um, I didn't put anything in it. So odds are I'd probably like it more, a little sweeter. But, you know, it could be really sweet flavored tea. I don't know. So, we'll see. And I'll let you know what I think as far as that goes. Alright. Cheers. Oh, God. Yeah, I could definitely use some sugar. However, I definitely taste that there's, like, pomegranate in the tea. I taste, maybe that's chocolate I'm tasting, like a subtle note after it, but not really chocolatey, more pomegranate if that makes sense. Um, so that's that one. Alright, now I have to read the instructions for this one. It's a one tablespoon. So this is the rose one. And I'm using the little bag they gave me. Pull that out. It's weird that it's a tablespoon and not a teaspoon, but it's tea. But, you know, whatever. Seeping in the cooler mug. So, it's a little tea bag. Have, I'm just gonna put this in my little travel mug. Put that down in there. And we'll check that out in 40 minutes. Okay, and now we're gonna try the rose tea. Um, I did put an ice cube in this too because, like I said, I don't want to burn my mouth. That's the little tea bag. Um, it does definitely smell very flowery. Um, so I expect it to probably taste flowery like this. Totally smells like roses, just even the tea out of the tea bag. Once again, definitely could be, do it with some sugar. Um, oh yeah, that's definitely a floral type of tea. Like I, it, it has a lot of notes of floral. Like it's not like in the face, rosy, but it's definitely like after. Even the more I'm talking after I drink it, I'm like. I can taste roses, and I'm breathing, I'm like, roses in my mouth. Um, so, that's interesting. I like it. I like both of these, actually. Um, 
I said. Those are the two I'm going to try for this time. Um, have you guys ever tried the Sip Spy tea service? Um, I'll leave the link to their website in the description um, in case you want to check them out. Um, what tea do you think that you like? Do you guys like tea? Are you more coffee drinkers? Like, I know I like coffee, but tea is alright. Um, like, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I like hearing from you guys. Um, like, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the little bell so you know when I pop out new content. Um, if you haven't checked it out yet, check out my giveaway. Um, other than that, bye! Till next time!